So there's been a lot of talk recently about club head speed, especially someone like Tiger Woods and how it relates to smash factor, which is ball speed divided by club head speed, which will give you your smash factor, which will give you an efficiency rating on uh, your contact points. And there's a lot, again, there's a lot of misunderstanding right now because of some people are saying numbers are high, some people are saying numbers are low. And it's because of the way TrackMan works that gives us these readings. Now, a golf club is traveling through 3D space when it makes contact with a golf ball. So, unfortunately, this is 2D, but it's very good in explaining what's happening at impact. So the track man is sending out information, sending out Doppler signals, which it will get back, which will it will interpret, and then give us information on club head speed and ball speed. Now, if we think of how it's going to read an object in space, if an object is moving and not rotating at all, the entire object is going to read at, let's say, X 100 miles an hour. So the entire thing is moving at 100 miles an hour. The great thing for us is the fact that a club head doesn't actually travel through space like this. It's something called rate of rotation through impact. It's rotating around the axis, which is the shaft, and this is happening throughout the golf swing. It's always moving, moving in a lot of different directions. And because of TrackMan, the way it sends out these Doppler signals, something moving in 3D space, although the entire object itself is traveling at, say again, 100 miles an hour, something like this part of the club, or this part of the object, is moving faster, whereas this part is going to be reading slower because it's moving back towards where the signal is coming from. And this is where we're getting these really high club head speeds. It's not because of the object moving towards it, but the object moving away from it. And again, we think of the club head, and it's sending out, the track man is sending out information, and certain club heads, they don't really know why. A lot of times it has to do with the geometry on the bottom of the club. And what ends up happening is it reads really fast. Now it's reading, it's not that it's reading fast, it's where it's taking measurements. So it's reading the measurements further out on the, on the club head towards the toe. The toe is moving faster through impact than the, the shaft and the axis where it's coming down. And this is where, for someone like Tiger, where they're getting these highest club head speeds on tour all year, of say one, I don't know, what was it, 128? But his smash factor is super low. Now we're talking that his smash factor is a lot lower than say like an average guy hitting a driver. Now that's not the case, he's a pretty good golfer. So is it misreading ball speed or misreading club head speed? And again, it's not that it's misreading, it's how it's measuring. So this is really important for people using TrackMan to understand how this works and how it's measuring. So when you get these kind of odd low smash factor numbers, it's because one of these, most likely club head speed, is giving a slightly inflated or deflated number. I love talking about this stuff. It's physics. It's what happens at impact. And this creates ball flight laws. And physics has never changed. Uh, we get better understandings of it as we go. But this is really important in understanding how TrackMan works and how smash factor and club head speed are read. Because again, traveling through space, different parts or different pieces of the object are going to be moving at a faster rate. And that's where those club head speeds come from. I really appreciate uh, discussion like this because it is, again, it's, it's very, it, it helps share knowledge. So if you have questions like this or anything else, please let me know and I'll be happy to do my absolute best to answer them. Thanks so much for watching.